Well, we've come to the closing remarks, and now I'm the one who separates you from the glass of wine, and so I will be brief, and many of you know that uh, I'm trying not to go on too long. I think it's uh, certainly been a great day. Uh, first off, I think we deserve to uh, let uh, show our appreciation uh, to uh, Jerry Lapman and his team, our communications, to Al Prowse, our uh, executive director, to Ingrid, and uh, the staff here at the Metropolitan for putting this on for us and making it seamless. So thank you to those guys. I think we've no doubt in our minds uh, felt we have a valuable opportunity here today to have an interchange of ideas. Uh, all too often in our industry, it's about exchange. It's about things going one way. But for BIM to be a success, it requires interchange, and I think we have certainly benefited from that today. Our board uh, certainly has uh, received endorsement, I believe, of this regional session, and uh, so I think we'll certainly be moving forward in the fall with others, and we'll do full circle, and we'll come back to Toronto again. Uh, you've helped today to inform the all-important uh, education committee, uh, I think especially by our attendance of our roundtable panelists and Dr. Min, uh, who is not, was not available today, unfortunately, but would have dearly loved to be here. Uh, we've made that all-important linkage now between industry and academia. We've made this linkage. It's your linkage. It's uh, the academia's linkage as well, so let's use that uh, to its advantage. Uh, we've, as well, uh, certainly on a technical committee level, uh, got our uh, marching orders. Uh, I know that we're going to be working very hard on the points of uh, deployment to the model with very clear principles and guidance. Uh, libraries was a topic today that came up. Uh, not vendor specific, but certainly it needs to be platform driven. And importantly, that uh, not only BIM, but it was brought out parametric solids modeling, all access through a portal at our website. And uh, the discussion around uh, accreditation, uh, even though it's not immediate, but let's not lose sight of how our industry, as we've seen at the FearTech level, has already become regulated by an ISO standard. The BIM level, our world, is not that far away, and so we're going to face that. So we appreciated our um, present presenters this afternoon, uh, Brent and Julian. I know from Brent's uh, presentation, it certainly helped to see the need for clear planning and coordination uh, that's involved in a, both an integrated BIM, either at a central or a federated level, and as well the passion that he shares uh, for this industry. Uh, Julian, uh, I always enjoy your presentations. Uh, you walk us through uh, the magical world of nirvana uh, with uh, everything down to the thousandth of an inch and so it's great to see what you've done and i think uh, I, I, we're proud to know that uh, uh, feature walters is part of the canadian landscape when it comes to this and we look forward to your work ahead as we do with others and as well to our industry panel today i want to thank you uh, for sharing i think you know, you've helped us understand our challenges the evolution expectations on the industry information sharing. I think there's, again, an important linkage has been set up that will make sure that everybody gets the information. You're about to be inundated with uh, files. Uh, you, you ask for it and uh, it's like that old story, build it and they will come. Ask for it and you'll get it. Uh, I know that everybody here has lots that they can share and, and let's make sure that uh, we're all working closely together. So it's been a, an exciting day. Um, I know it, it's been a long time coming. Uh, the first is always the hardest, uh, and the next ones will be easier, but you've been a gracious audience, and I know that you've been engaged, and I certainly hope that it has been meaningful for you. Those who are not members, we know you paid a little bit more, but next time, if you're members, you'll pay a little bit less, so we encourage you to join. Our industry is only strong by the numbers. And there's some of us here with a lot of gray hair behind us and on top of us, and we need to hand this off at this critical time. It needs the youth. So I look out to the young faces in the audience. The real benefits of BIM are going to come in the next decade. You're going to be around, and so your voice at this table is so critical this time. Get involved with the committee, the tech committee. Every member can get involved, we'll find a place. 
be engaged if you can in the board level when the opportunity comes up and speak up BIM at every opportunity. Don't be afraid. And I hope today as well you've got an opportunity to network with like-minded people and that you will take BIM you know, when we come back to Toronto with this arrangement that we will have our chins drop at what's been accomplished not only locally but as you make connection across the country and continue to support CanBIM as the only true pan-Canadian voice for BIM in Canada. So thank you.